Okay, so I hear this all the time. Everybody, this phrase, everybody has narcissistic tendencies. Have you ever heard that? Everybody, we all have narcissistic tendencies. Well, Mama Romney, Romney de Bursula, her new book, It's Not You, Mama Romney, she says that no, we do not all have narcissistic tendencies. That is not true. She does not agree with that, and neither do I. Um, I would say that for the most part, narcissism is on a spectrum, and so they have, number one, they have variable to low empathy. Um, they know that empathy sells. My narc used to say, oh, I just want to believe the good in everybody, which really means that they don't believe that everybody's good. They just want to see if you believe that so that they can manipulate you. And the narcissist is not looking for a good person. The narcissist knows that there are plenty of good people out there, good Samaritans, good Christians, good codependents out there. So the narcissist is not looking for a good person. The narcissist is looking for a good person who doesn't know their value, that doesn't know their worth, that doesn't believe that they are a good person, that has some deep sense of shame and guilt about themselves from some childhood trauma. So there's a spectrum. There's variable to low em empathy. They're entitled. They're grandiose. Um, they're arrogant. They're selfish. They envy other people. They think other people envy them. They live in a fantasy world. And at the core of their being is a gross sense of insecurity. And they constantly are fighting this volcanic eruption of shame. So the narcissist doesn't have any guilt, but they have shame. And uh, they're, they always have a grudge against somebody and they're always playing the victim. So, you know, if you have all of those traits, then yes, you probably are a narcissist. And another thing that narcissists do not do, because a lot of people, you might see these traits or think of these traits and think, oh my God, maybe I'm a narcissist. And trust me, that's exactly what the narcissist wants you to think. They want you to think and believe that you're a narcissist and that you're the problem in the relationship, but you're not the problem. And that's why Mama Romney come out with the book, It's Not You. Because it's not you. And so, you know, they... Uh, they're looking for this person who is vulnerable to take advantage of them. Because if you don't know your worth, then they can take advantage of you, especially if you want to just believe the good in everybody, because they don't. And another thing that the narcissist does is they think that everybody thinks like they do. It is hard for the narcissist to believe that somebody has empathy for another human being. That's foreign to their concept because all they do is look for people that they can manipulate and get one over on and get one up on and do things behind their back because that makes them feel grandiose and superior and they believe they're smarter. Well, it's not virtuous at all to uh, dominate or take advantage of another human being. It's, it's, uh, it's nefarious, that type of behavior. Anyway, also I want to tell you about three different movies just, for, just so you can get the idea, three or four different movies so you can get the idea of what um, narcissistic personality style might look like. I think these are good movies that represent the narcissistic dis narcissistic dysfunctional personality style. Um, number one is uh, Mr. Ripley with Matt Damon. 
and in that movie, uh, Mr. Ripley, the talented Mr. Ripley, uh, he tries to, he envies a character called Nicky Greenleaf, I believe, and uh, in the end of the movie, he ends up becoming Nicky Greenleaf, so uh, that is very narcissistic. The narcissistic doesn't respect you as your own person. They want to be you. They envy you. They want to. Uh, they want to accumulate your assets and everything that you own, and all your friends and all your family. They want to take complete and total advantage of you. So there's uh, Mr. Ripley, and then there is um, Inventing Anna. It's a series on Netflix. It's based on a true story about a young woman named Anna uh, Sorenstein. Uh, she actually got a, a bank. She manipulated a bank into um, giving her $40 million loan on a piece of property in New York. It's pretty impressive, but she didn't have any money. That's how good she was. Now she's in prison, though. Um, but... So, Inventing Anna, definitely a good movie about uh, Misery with uh, Kathy Bates and James Caan. That is an excellent example of gaslighting. Um, you know, the character in, uh, in Misery, she, uh, she's always telling her victim that she's going to make a phone call, you know, tomorrow. But, you know, because of the snow... You know the phone lines are down and nobody can get out or get in and she you know she does this continues to gaslight him and uh, she never makes the phone call to call his publisher but she keeps telling him she's going to um, let's see so mr. Ripley uh, I thought there was another one I can't think of it right now but Anyway, just because the narcissist never asks the question, am I a narcissist? Because they know that they are a narcissist. So if you think that you have narcissistic tendencies and you think that uh, you question maybe you're a narcissist, just because you brush your teeth, that's not, is brushing your teeth selfish? Let me know in the comments. Is brushing your teeth selfish? Is taking a bath selfish? It's called radical self-care, and that's what—that's the best weapon you can use against the narcissistic personality style. And Andrew from Narc Daily, he says that you come first, second, and third. You are the main priority. Practice radical self-care. I'll talk to you soon.